the thing about dating is the quickest way to know if this person is yours is by being completely brutally yourself. I loved the stunt choreography for this movie. It was so fun. There were there was a team on set um, and we learned like very quickly. So good in those scenes by the way. Like it Thank was you. So real. It was Thanks. Amazing. It was really fun. It's, it was really fun to like bring out the like the genre in that part of the movie too, you know. Um, and we we had stunt doubles as well. Must give them credit for for being be, being there and and nailing it on our behalf when we weren't. Yeah, it was it was fun to like put that into the movie because I, I do enjoy that very much. It was my birthday and it was like the last day of shooting. And the, the mechanics are like, it's this big scale operation. And we're on like, you know, the camera's on a platform. There are scuba divers in the bottom of the pool with pulling you down because you're harnessed. And so it like creates the effect of drowning. It was, it was wild, but this like kind of weird ceremonial ending to the movie. And Sarita was definitely game. She loves water and was like, the the best at like showing off what she could do underwater it was amazing but was also wrapped in a sari and like didn't realize the weight of that would be uh like an added struggle so that was a little spooky it was a little scary luckily all three of us aren't afraid of water like we are we're into it gave up dating a while back you know i'm, <laughs> I'm a married woman now but yeah. uh <laughs> I think the best part about um, a relationship, and it takes obviously hits and misses to get to, you know, the person that makes you feel completely um, comfortable in your own skin and, you know, being yeah. who you are. And I think like the, the thing about dating is the quickest way to know if this person is yours is by being completely brutally yourself. Um, that's just like a really quick way of knowing if it's going to work out or not. Like instead of playing the game, instead of, um, you know, putting your best foot forward or doing that thing, just like, you know, I like to hang out in my, in my pajamas and watch Netflix or Amazon or any, um, you know, TV for 12 hours. Can you handle it? <laughs> I, I like to eat on my bed. Can you handle it? You know, <laughs> I guess like just the honesty of, you know, braze, being brazen about who you are um, is the quickest way of knowing if the other person is yours. Keep it fun. Um, it's like, it's a, it's a, it's a bit for, you know, it's just for fun <laughs> until it's not, until you're really in love and hopefully you know, you know, follow your intuitions. Unlike Pallavi, the character that I play, who very much sort of suppresses those and just wants this you know, romance to work. It doesn't really turn out so good for her in the end, but like try to have fun with it and with yourself. I am only thinking, yeah, about who is like where my ass is pointing. Like, it's like, cause you're, it's like this beautiful frame and it's just us. And then it's like, well, I'm wearing socks and like, this is, what does this look like to the crew member who's like holding the light like behind me? <laughs> it's, all, it's very bizarre. I, I don't mean that in like a pervy way. I really just mean like, it's so bizarre to shoot these like uh, intimate scenes and like it's your job and it's like, it actually becomes very clinical and you're just sort of like, well, I guess we'll kiss again and we'll make it look beautiful. Omar is a wonderful, scene partner. I was so in love with the idea of an Indian romance, like centered in this story as well, alongside the mother daughter relationship. Like I, that had never been presented to me before as an actor, like to have a hot, like <laughs> Indian, like male romantic interest. It was, it was really cool to be a part of that. And it was super, super fun and actually quite, quite easygoing despite the, the bizarro mention of <laughs> like it feeling weird but I'm a scaredy cat I I have I'm not I have a very faint heart I really like depend on whoever's sitting next to me to you know 
claw my nails into whenever I'm watching something scary. But <laughs> the beauty about doing this movie, and I'm gonna just kick this off by saying that the beauty about this movie was that Blumhouse is the best um, at this, and they're the best at the genre. And it was amazing to first of all as a producer align with them. Um, Amazon, I have a long-standing relationship with, it, so it was perfect. And then my quest as a producer has to influx Hollywood with brown people. Like that's my my dream. I want to have, you know, amazing um, characters which are South Asian, stories that are South Asian. And that's something I've really, really been wanting to create and having these two lead, leading ladies, Sunita and Sarita, who I'm a huge fan of as well, as the leading ladies for this movie was my honor and a, a little bit of a dream come true to see, you know, first of all, fabulous female actors, um, you know, older female actors, female actors, brown female actors. There's so much of this um, which excited me and I was very honored to be able to produce this movie. It was so cool. I, I got that that email you know in my <laughs> inbox and it was like amazon blumhouse priyanka chopra jonas executive producing like well, we, they would like you to read for this role it was one of those moments of like wait what <laughs> and i i went into it with um yeah just sort of like i hands up i'm i'm in um I also am a bit squeamish with the, the horror movies, but I do love a Blumhouse like psychological thriller. And I feel like our movie fits in so well with all the pieces um, like coming Definitely. together, everyone elevating this story. So it was like, it's really cool that we're all like making space for each other and, and in it together at the same time to like put this story forward. Well, Nick and I work really closely together as producers. We're, we're creating a lot of um, content together, but I've never really thought about acting with him. I think it'd be super easy to do because um, we've both professionally independently done it for, such, for a long time, you know? Um, and plus we have an insane comfort with each other, obviously. So I think it'll be super fun to do. I would love to act with him. A spin-off. Oh, spin off. Spin off. Spin off. Fans want it. We'll do it. No, I really don't know. I, I don't know what I think this might be the end, but uh, we'll we'll see. 2020 has been a hell of a year, so I I really can't predict anything. <laughs> and then just keeping my expectations, you know, minimal here. But it was it was a good run. I loved it. <laughs>